What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Welcome back to another vlog video. So today I have a couple things I want to get done. First, is to change the water on this. This is uh, a week two of soaking these logs. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. We want to use the turn when possible. No, we're not the turn. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Hi, baby. Last night I came out here and messed with them. You see that one kind of floated up. So, got to fix that. And I want to check the buoyancy in those two there. See if those are any any closer to being waterlogged. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Let me turn the water on, dump this water out, and change it. I'm going to start with this one. This one has one of those little boat bugs you guys may or may not have seen them they're in sometimes in ponds and lip rivers lakes they have like two little oars on them <laughs> there's one in this one somewhere and i don't want to squish it <laughs> all right yeah this is a very floaty look at that Nowhere near being waterlogged yet. There's my little bug. It's heavy. And these little bugs are pretty cool. It's got like a little air bubble with it. I can see the little bubble. success all right this one's waterlogged nice all right I could take that one out or I could leave it in there I'm gonna I'm gonna take my bricks out first so I don't squish that little bug oh it's cold my oh my Ooh. oh Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that is so cold. So, so cold. All right, I'm gonna dump this out without dumping out the little bug. that's low enough situate this back down in here yeah the small piece is already waterlogged happy about that this piece here and place my bricks on top I don't know how that bug is still alive because it's pretty chilly out here and it froze the other night got down into the 20s now for my favorite piece this one here this one's going to go in my tank build that I plan on doing. Let's see where we're at. Ooh. No floating. Up. Oh. Nope. Not. Ah. 
Alright. And boy. <laughs> Still buoyant. Okay. Oh. Ah. Something I should do is move it each time I dump this water out so I don't make a dead spot in my grass. There we go. smell to it. Oh, come on now. Work with me, Brick. There we go. And there we go. And the last one. I'm having some hope because these pieces are smaller. I'm having some hope that these are waterlogged. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Woo, it's cold. <laughs> Heck no. That thing, this thing torpedoed right on up. All right. Alright, so these pieces still have a long way to go. They're not even close to being waterlogged yet. Uh, except for that one tiny piece, so it's getting there. I'm trying to um, not have to screw into these pieces of wood. Some people screw them to a rock or a piece of slate to get them to sink. If, if these don't sink, by or at least start showing some signs of sinking I may have to resort to doing that because I'm I really want to get my aquariums built out I really want to get that started and get them going I've got let me take you inside and show you what I've got going on inside yes I set up this little small 10 gallon tank and this this where it's at right now this is just temporary I've got a few fish in there, a lot of plants, and, um, and also some some cherry shrimp. A couple fish down in there. But this is all of my plants that I'll be using for my 20 gallon aquarium build. And this right here is just sitting on the floor. This is temporary. The plan is to build a shelf right here, get rid of this small TV stand that the TV's on and all this other gold up. I need to straighten this up, but I'm going to get rid of this TV stand and I'm going to be building a small rack right here. So stay tuned for that video. The last project I need to work the last project I need to work on is these. These are my going to be my ventilation covers for the, um, the the last two or the other two, the 10 gallon vivarium builds. Or do I have three more? Uh, I think I got three. I have to go look. But anyway, I need to put in my vent hole. So I'm going to sit out here with my iPad 
watch some YouTube, put these holes in, and I guess I could probably go ahead and start siliconing stuff together too. So let me go ahead and get on that. Each one has a different pattern. The first one has the circles. This one's going to have the outward facing triangles and this one's just going to have a series of dots. If you're interested in getting different designs for your ventilation, just uh, Google the uh, vent, hole pat vent hole patterns and then click on images. You'll get tons, tons of different different patterns that'll pop up. And these I just got off the internet. 